Hello everyone and welcome back to Politics Now, we're talking about modern politics in modern America. And today we're going to be discussing how Carrie Lake and the Republicans are having a pretty substantial rise and may win the Senate seat in 2024 and possibly in the general election. So yeah, let's just get into that. So Carrie Lake is probably going to be the nominee and at this rate you might as well just call her the nominee for the Republicans for getting that Senate seat in Arizona. She ran as for the governor, lost that. Uh, she didn't really lose it by that much, considering how a lot of the Republicans who probably should have been cheering her on and probably should have, you know, contributed to her win, well, they just went against her. But I mean, she got pretty good results considering how half of the party was against her the whole time. And that's because she got endorsed by Trump and a lot of the people in the Republican Party just absolutely despise that. Anyone who gets endorsed by Trump is enemy number one instantly. It doesn't matter if they've been a neoconservative George Bush fan their entire life. As soon as they get that endorsement, they are just the enemy of the people. And Carrie Lake, she originally wasn't doing too well in terms of the Senate poll. The Democrats were up by six points, and this was before she announced she was even running. But in like a hypothetical scenario, considering how the last election she was running in was her failed gubernatorial campaign, she wasn't really doing that well. And the spoiler wasn't really helping her that much because a lot of the people who would vote for the independent candidate, most of them are going to be the more uh, McCain Republicans that normally vote Democrat, but they're like Republicans kind of. They will vote for a Republican if he's like Mitt Romney, not really if he's Donald Trump or Kerry Lake. So really, independence, that's what they're going towards. And that kind of hurts Republicans in a lot of these elections because those people, their vote does count and they do contribute. They're not as big as they used to be, but there's still a decent portion of them, especially in Arizona. And originally, independent wasn't really helping out and the Democrats they were doing pretty well in the polls. Now she has made a giant leap. She has made a giant comeback. Not only has she made such a big leap that she's now beating the Democrats and the and Kristen Cinema in the polls, but she's beating them by a six point margin. Six point margin. That is pretty good considering how she was losing by six points the, during the last major poll and. That kind of comeback, that's a 12-point swing. And really, if you're going to win that Senate seat, you need more polling like this. And we'll just have to see how polling shakes out when we get closer to Election Day, especially for the general election. Because if Trump wins Arizona in the general election, then Kerry Lake will be helped out a lot. Because a lot of those Trump voters also vote for Kerry Lake. Because, I mean... You got the endorsement, so you're pretty much on one side of the Republican Party. Neocons or Trump. And she's on Trump's side, so a lot of those Trump voters maybe will vote for Carrie Lake. And even if they don't vote for her, they either stay home or they vote for Kristen Cinema, which really Kristen Cinema, she caucuses with the Democrats one hundred percent. She only disagrees on maybe one or two things, kinda like RFK Jr. But she's a Democrat through and through. And really, it's pretty much a guarantee that she loses the seat. But who she takes from, that's the real question. Because, again, a lot of the McCain voters are going to vote for Kristen Cinema, But also, because she's so close to being a Democrat, a lot of those more, uh, I don't really, I don't really, I'm not like a hardcore liberal. Those kinds of Democrats, the more moderate, I hate Biden Democrats, they might vote for Kristen Cinema, which might hurt Galileo because really that's going to be his main voter base. And if they're voting for the third candidate who is pretty much a Democrat through and through and is either getting the Republicans that vote Democrat pretty much. So, I mean, they're basically Democrats at this point or the I don't really like Joe Biden Democrats, then that's going to take a lot of his voter base who would normally vote for him because he's a Democrat, but because you got this third option that is a Democrat with 
more republicanism but not really and the fact that she's an independent well they're gonna vote for her and it's really gonna hurt gal lego and carrie lake he she doesn't really have any of that problem because a lot of those people who are going to be voting for Kristen cinema normally would vote for the democrats but they might not this time and Kristen cinema is still pulling at 16 percent. that's a huge margin and if she keeps anywhere close to that up till election day well republicans are going to have a very good shot at taking that seat and gal lego might lose the senate election despite being a clear favorite for a couple of months and then now carrie lake is beating him and really it's gonna have to shake out because if kristen cinema keeps her margin and carrie lake keeps doing well in the polls well you might have a spoiler plus a trump boost which helps carrie lake win that senate seat and in that case you would easily have a majority in the senate house that might be a little bit more tough but easy majority in the senate plus you have Ohio and Montana and then a lot of other states that you can win. Republicans are probably going to win the Senate. And if they win Arizona, that would be a nice cherry on top to kind of root out the people who would caucus with the Democrats despite being Republicans. So Carrie Lake, she's probably going to get a Trump boost. I mean, Trump is doing pretty well in the polls, especially in Arizona. She's beating Biden by two points and he's been up for quite a while. He's been up since about September, and it's December now. So he should do pretty well in Arizona if he w actually wins it. If he doesn't, well, I mean, there's still kind of a chance, but it's a lot harder if Trump doesn't win Arizona, which, I mean, he's looking like he will probably win Arizona and probably win most of the swing states, which that would help Kerry Lake, but if he doesn't win and he doesn't win the swing states or Arizona, then it's going to be a lot harder, but you can't technically rule it out because a lot of things can change. Carrie Lake can keep going up in the polls. Kristen Cinema can keep pulling away from Galilego. So a lot of stuff can happen, but right now it's looking like Carrie Lake will probably have a pretty decent night. And if she can win, nice cherry on top to the Republican majority in the Senate. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you think Carrie Lake will win, leave in the comments below. Gal Lego, leave in the comments below. And hell, if you think Cinema will win, leave in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.